find you and I will kill you. Woo! Mr. Neeson, you have another hit on your hands, sir. Man, oh man. This movie is Tyrone Magnus certified. The movie had it all. It was a thriller with drama, suspense, action, terror. <laughs> it had it all, man. Oh, man. Mystery. <sighs> so you want to know what I think? Okay. Well, here is my movie review of The Commuter. Liam Neeson is a businessman that is a commuter. He commutes to work. One day something happens on the job and on the way home, commuting, he gets an offer. And that is where the movie starts. Once he gets that offer, he finds that he is involved in a very thick web of death and cover up and powerful, powerful people who have their fingers attached to many, many things. And it's just like, holy fucking shit. So it, man, I'm telling you, Liam Neeson is there in his best, gravelly voice, good acting chops, great acting chops, dramatic, doing his thing. Just fighting, just, just things to figure out, which is the best part. It's the best part. By the way, Norma Bates makes a uh, appearance in there. I like her. She's the main reason why I watch Bates Motel shit. But anyway. She dead now. I need to see that last season. Uh, she's a great actress. She's in there doing her thing. And I gotta tell you, man, uh, I don't, I don't really. There was only like one part in the movie where I was like, really? I've seen this before. You know what I mean? But I can let that go with the movie. I can let that go. It's only one part where I was like. I was like, I like it reminded me of a couple other movies where I saw something like that happen. I was like, really, y'all gonna do that? But other than that, I mean, it takes place on this on the damn subway or on the train, and I, you guys have seen the the trailer, okay? Um, I had a very very good time in this movie, and I would recommend this movie to any one of my friends and or Magnusites that want to go see it. If you were to say to me, hey, should I go see it? Go see it. Yeah, you know, I always say go see it if you want to see it, but I it's a movie I recommend, okay? I just saw another movie before Coco. Yeah, I recommend Coco. I recommend The Commuter. It was a very good movie, and it's a movie that I would say that I would buy, but because it's kind of a mystery, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't really, I think... The mystery is gone once you've seen it. So I'm one of those people. It's kind of like, I don't know if I could really buy a mystery because I've already seen it. You know what I mean? But for stuff that's like, uh, you know, just action, you know, this one was a mystery. You're sitting there like, you're thinking with him. And you know, I mean, you know, there, there are people that, you know, if he doesn't get this done, people are going to get hurt or worse. And most likely the worst. Assured the worst. And you're trying to figure it out with him. And it's just, it's crazy how it happens. And, you know, for maybe for all you writers out there, like I used to date a girlfriend that was an English major. And she could see foreshadowing all the time. Like, even in stuff that the normal moviegoer couldn't see, you know, that we're normally used to seeing in foreshadowing, she could see. Maybe some of y'all could see shit coming. Maybe you people that know how movies are written all the time. Maybe you could see certain things coming. But there's a couple of things where I was like, God damn. I'll be damned. They throw you a couple of curveballs. Some things that happen, 
I'm surprised. There were a couple of things that happened when I was surprised where I wasn't surprised. I was like, oh, well, yeah, man. Okay. You know what I mean? Was, but, you know, there's certain movies is like, oh, but a couple, one or two things did happen where I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so, it had it all. Five out of five. Woo's! Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you want to be in my movie reviews, make sure you sign up for the Stardust app. You download it. You subscribe to me first. It's free, okay? And uh, you, you make sure you tag me in all of your movie and television show reviews. That way, if I watch them, I'll put you in my review of them. Deal? All right, cool. Patreon also has two episodes of The Seven Deadly Venoms, two episodes of Naruto Shippuden, and one more episode of Dark Mirror uploaded. So get over there and become a Super Magnusite. 10 million subscribers! Woo!